Hey guys, welcome. Yeah, so I recently made a video on how to tell if a differential equation is homogeneous. And in that video, we said that if the differential equation is first order, then your ability to write it in the form dy dx equals f of y over x automatically means it is homogeneous. And why do we care? Well, because if you can write your first order differential equation in this form, then using the variable substitution y equals vx, you can turn it into a separable equation. That's why we care. And separable equations are easy to solve, right? Okay, okay, cool, 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 cool. Now, um, first, um, we see that uh, our differential equation, which is this here, can be written in this way. And then simplifying, we see that we can write it in the form required, which is as dy dx equals f of y over x, right here, yeah? Okay, okay, cool. And then that tells us that our differential equation is homogeneous and that this variable substitution will turn it into a separable equation. And by the way, in example zero of this video series on the variable substitution y equals vx, I explain why this substitution and this form mean generically, in general, without knowing your function, why they mean that you can turn it into a separable equation. So I prove why this substitution and this form together will allow you to turn it into a separable equation. So you can watch example zero if you want to see the proof of why this works, basically. Yeah, okay, 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 cool, cool, cool. But now that we are here, notice that y equals v times x means, first of all, that dy dx is equal to v prime um, times x plus v times x prime, right? And furthermore, that v is equal to y over x. If y is equal to v times x, v is clearly y over x, right? So y over x right here and right here will turn into simply v. And as I said, dy dx here, well, if you have the variable substitution y equals v times x, and I say variable substitution just to make clear that v here is a variable just like x, not a constant. But yeah, like as I said, uh, y over x turns into a v, right? And then, as I said a little bit earlier, dy dx, right, if y is equal to v times x, where v and x are both variables, then dy dx will require product rule on the right side, and so we'll have v prime x plus v times x prime. That is, dy dx will be dv dx times x plus v times dx over dx. And so that simplifies to this here. So that's what we're going to do with dy dx here on the left. We're going to replace it with this here on the far right, dv dx times x plus v. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. So once we do that, our differential equation is now turned into this. And next, we're going to subtract v from both sides, and we see that we get this. Okay, and now we can clearly see that it's separable, so we're going to separate the variables. Um, that displayed exactly the same thing as before, didn't it? Okay, so this slide is a repeat. Not necessary. Okay, cool. Um, all right, so the next slide. Well, let's just have it a, as a placeholder, right? But yeah, the important slide is what I just showed right here, which shows that we have, in fact, separated it. Um, V's on one side, X is on the other side. And what's left to do now is to integrate both sides, right? Okay, for that, we need room. So uh, take note of what I just showed you here. We're going to put integral signs on both sides of the equal sign. And so that means that we do this here. Okay, the left side is our f favorite antiderivative uh, tan inverse, right? Uh, tan inverse of V specifically on the right side, where our, our usual boring ln x, right? ln x. And the plus C from the left and the plus C from the right, I've combined into just one C on the right, and I'm allowed to do that. And um, now... Uh, we want to solve for y, right? Um, and so we need to get back from v to y over x since we want to solve for y. So that's all I've showed in this uh, latest slide, right? Okay. And to solve for y, now that we have tan inverse of y over x equals ln of uh, x plus c, we take tan of both sides. Because uh, on the left side, uh, we're going to get tan of tan inverse, and so they're going to cancel. We're just going to get y over x. But keep in mind that we need to find a particular solution. So I'm a bit ahead of myself because we need to make use of knowing that x is 1 when y is 1 or y is 1 when x is 1. And so that means that uh, uh, pi over 4, which is tan inverse of 1 over 1, um, 
is going to equal ln of 1, which is 0. So on the right side, we'll just get c. On the left side, we get pi over 4. That means c is pi over 4. So we get tan inverse of y over x is equal to ln of x plus we now know c. And then, as I said, what we're going to do from here is take tan of both sides. And so when we do on the left side, tan and tan inverse cancel. So you just get y over x. And then on the right side, we get tan of, yeah, you can read. Okay. And uh, from here, uh, we see that all we have left to do is multiply by x on both sides of the second to last equation. Now the last equation.